there, my name's Ashley. I am a unique presenter and I'm gonna just go through my everyday um, makeup look. Some of my products, most of my products are unique, but some are not. I'm going to be using our liquid foundation. So before you use it, before I unscrew it, shake it up. If you push this and shake at the same time, make sure your lid's on. That way you're not getting any product that's in the dopper or the dopper without it being fully mixed. So, put this on. And now I've already put the primer on my face. And I'm gonna use our liquid foundation brush. So what's a little bit different is that it's very dense and it has actually a little well in there that you can put the product into. So I always start by kind of like, not sloppily putting it on, but quickly to get it all spread out. And then I'll go in and buff more. So I've been a presenter since my, since July 31st, so I'm coming up on my 60 days with Unique. What is nice is that I have made my student loan payment for this month already with my uh, earnings. And that is my goal for Unique, is just to be able to enjoy makeup and have the side income to pay off my student loans. I have, um, I graduated with my dental hygiene degree from Palm Beach State. And now, with all that schooling I had, it's time to pay it off. So we're just buffing. Buff, buff, buff. I think I put a little too much on this morning. And so it's taking a little bit longer to buff it out. You can see like the streaking. But make sure you drag it down your neck because you can see my neck is much tanner than my face. So we want to even that out a little bit. And I have to say, I've been using our um, eyelash serum on my eyebrows and I think they're starting to actually get a little bit more fuller and dense looking. So I'm really liking that. So before I signed up for Unique, I never used any other products. I only just heard about them from my friend who isn't my sponsor and she's she kind of like talked me into it i was just going to be a kidnapper where i brought i bought the kit just because it was 99 dollars and you got all this be all these beauty products it was like 400 dollars worth of beauty products that i received and then afterwards i was like okay why not try to host a few parties do a couple lives, have some fun with it. So that's all done there. And now I'll do my eyeshadow first and then I'll conceal. And um, I'll conceal and then, um, oh my goodness, one moment. After I conceal, I will set it with translucent powder. So in my kit, I received the quad. So I have four different shades, they're four different little pans. I like to do this after my foundation, but because I use usually use the, the foundation almost as a primer. So I'm using a little bit of the burgundy, which is rev reverent, and my um my transition shade, which is discreet. And this is just an everyday look, so I don't want it to be too, too bold, but also not too bland. So I just took a little bit more of the Reverend, popped it in the outer V, 
and just keep blending. So originally I was just going to be a kit napper where I bought, bought the kit and just use the products myself. But then she was telling me about <clears throat> all the benefits of being a unique presenter, how easy it was, not necessarily easy, I mean, you still have to work at it, it's a job, but like most, um, unlike most multi-level marketing um, companies, you don't have a monthly fee. You only have to hit, I think it was, it's $125 in a three month period to remain active. So either you spend $125 or um, someone else does under your link. So that was really, I mean, a selling point is that you're not committed. You're not locked into $16 a month for your website fee, or you have to spend $100 a month in a product so you can promote it. Makeup, yes, it expires, but it doesn't run out like protein powders or supplements. And I'm all for anyone that uses supplements, but with being just out of college, um, I have one test left to take in October before I can be licensed and actually practice dental hygiene. I couldn't commit to any of those um, programs where it's $100 a month. I've done them. Um, apologize, I am drinking my green drink. I get thirsty so that's not the whole thing but I'm gonna put um, gentle which is my shimmery very bright and shimmery color it's like a gold sandy I wish the light would not do that to it she has like a goldish light shimmer color that will go into the inner corners once I conceal mostly on Sundays for concealer, like for my makeup, I use the concealer under my eyes because it's um, it's a creaseless, like it's a mineral, mm -hmm. mineral, so it doesn't like clog your pores. And then the mascara. Wipe it off. But with no monthly fees, there's nothing to lose really. So that's why it was really fun. And I um I always love makeup, especially around the winter like the holiday times. I need to put a little bit more on that beside. But so Halloween coming up, I'm gonna do some videos with our group like our group of ladies so it's like a tribe of ladies that are selling makeup and supporting each other so that's really awesome met, met a whole bunch of new people online and we're gonna do Halloween, a weekly Halloween makeup challenge So I was gonna be a kidnapper and she told me about it and I was like, you know what, I'll do it. I'm gonna go full force, have some fun. Don't stress out about it cause I mean that was, I didn't want anything to add to my stress level. I was stressing a lot about not finding a patient for my test, which I still haven't. But to have something like a stress reliever like makeup is very helpful so I'm not always freaking out or always thinking about that. And then I'm gonna use our translucent setting powder, which is actually, you get a lot for um, the amount of money you spend on it compared to like a Makeup Forever product. So we go underneath. Eye. But I set my whole face, but I really focus it under the eye because if you that's where you tend to have creases That's where you want to set more And 
I would say this, um, the liquid foundation gives you a matte to, like after setting it, it's like a matte but dewy finish. Especially with using the concealer. So while that sets for a minute, let's do our brows. So a little spoolie, brush upward and back. So you don't want to push like that way because then you have all that. But if you do like a little motion, I need to get mine shaped a little bit because I like the shape of this one where it goes up into a V and then drops, but this one's kind of like more roundish. So, retractable, which I always love when they're retractable and not having to sharpen a pencil. So I'm bad at that. Tail first, always. So just doing that little bit, like gives so much more def definition to my eye. And always remember your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I love doing that to myself, so I don't always freak out when they don't match. I don't know if you guys could hear that, I just popped my, my hip on camera. That was really nice. So right about there. Right about there, here, this one needs to come in just a teeny bit. Fill that in, brush it again a little bit, perfect. I'm gonna take my little kabuki and brush off all the powder that we put on. Pretty. If I say myself, or if I say so myself. So going back in with the gentle color. I always like to hit it like right in this corner because it opens your eye up a little bit more. So that's the starting point of my face. I actually feel like it looks a lot better when I'm a little bit out of focus. Not making, that makes no sense. When I step back a little bit better, you can see it better. Here, the lighting's horrible. Here, the lighting's a lot better. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring So with my, my face being a round face, a round shape, it says to do a little circle here, a little bit down here to kind of give yourself a little bit of appearance of a jawline.
to make my nose look smaller because I don't really like my nose. We all had a little thing that we don't necessarily like about our face. I have to say I like that this is a cream and not a pencil because it doesn't like drag on your skin as much. And I'm actually going to go down my neck a little bit. And I think my flat top. And do some blending. Always drag like back towards yourself or back to the line. Don't go like this, go like this. Okay, let's see. Does that side of my face look skinny? Er, er, skinny er. So the point of contouring is to give you a thinner appearance. I am not by any means a makeup artist. I do this for fun. Throw this in here a little bit and then whatever's left in the brush. some texture right in here. I swear that's from Halloween a couple years back where I put the latex on my skin. And instead of like loosening it up, I ripped it off and I scarred my face there from it. Dedication. So I'm gonna throw out a little bit more of the translucent powder. Just kind of like an all over little brush to give it that set of uh, set effect since I just put that cream all over. I usually do a set in between because I do the the liquid concealer on my um my under eye because I really like how that that effect it gives. Setting is really important in areas that you crease. So like in your nose, I talk a lot with my mouth. So like this whole area will crease. Not really necessarily my forehead, because I don't really... Scrunching my forehead actually bothers me. At least that's what it feels like it does. We are almost done! So next up would be bronzing and blush. So I'm actually using the It Cosmetics, um, You're Most Beautiful, and that is in Live, Laugh, Love, or sorry, Laugh, Laugh, Love, Live, and the only thing I don't like about a lot of companies, even though they're cruelty free, they're not made in America. Like, It Cosmetics, most of their stuff is made in China, or, in the pack, or necessarily the packaging is. With Unique, all the products are made in the U.S., So same thing where I put my contour, I'm just gonna bronze a bit. Cause I like to look tanner than what I really am. It's like catfishing, but for makeup. And I'll do my blush. And I do it on the cheeks, or the apples of my cheek. So kind of do like your little fake smile or you can smile real. But big smile it. 
I've got a little bit there, brush off my brush, and then I kind of blend it back. That looks really harsh on the camera there. Looks a little better there. It's not as pigmented as it looks on film. I don't want to look like the little kid that, or the, the doll that has, like where you take and put the pink in a circle. To set my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Lash Serum because it is a gel. It's a serum to your eye for your eyelashes. But I've been putting on my eyebrows, and I swear it's making them get fuller. At the same time, I do it to my. Under eye, I'm just gonna line the waterline because this is a, more of a day look than anything else. I saw on Pinterest that someone did a a gold one, and it really made her eyes pop. So I might try that. This is proper, so it's just a, um, it's a very deep brown. And before we highlight mascara, most important thing. You can really kind of see how effortlessly this goes on. I'm trying not to talk with my whole mouth. But look, no clumping. It's really lengthening my eyelashes. That is a horrible light. Sorry guys. But you can see how much definition it really gives. But just like the little bit that I did. And also thing to like prevent bacteria or eye infections or anything like that. Don't share makeup with friends, first thing. Second thing is, most, mascara, most mascaras are good for three months once you start using it. I think this is unopened, it might be a year. No, it says three months, four months. All of them have like a little, let's see if I can find it bigger. So like every little product, zoom in, focus. They have like a little makeup thing and in there it says exactly how many months it's good for once opened. So good general thing is when you change your toothbrush, change your mascara every three months or when you're sick, if you have an eye infection, throw away all eye products because they'll be contaminated. I always make the biggest mess of my lower lashes. I'm not sure why. So you can kind of see how long that is, especially if you can see it there. So I'll look down, up for you, and up for you. So I don't normally wear any lipsticks during the day. Um, I'll probably put on Sublime by Unique because it's a liquid lip, but um, I prefer like an, a, just a basic, I mean, a natural lip. I'll put like maybe a bonbon on or something like that. And then I'm going to just highlight, give myself a little, a little dust of a fairy color. I need to get like that huge one, but the point of makeup is not to spend a whole bunch of money. The point is to have fun, use a couple different products. I'm more of a moderate end um, or over the, over the counter, like drugstore makeup. I bought it, I purchased um, 
Let's see. Um, I've purchased high end D4. I purchased the cheapest you can get. I actually really enjoy Wet n Wild products because they are U.S. They're made in the U.S. and they're cruelty free, like unique. Uh, what else? I like pigment, so it better give me pigment, pigment and a couple swipes, or it's gonna go in the trash because if it's dry, there's no point to it. So that was my makeup for everyday look. So we'll take that out, pull the hair down. I look like I have rosy cheeks and they're really not that rosy in, in person. And we're done. So thank you for watching. If you like it, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or um, any questions about Unique or my makeup look today or what products or what colors I used, if I didn't say it, I'll try to link it below. So have a great Monday, guys. Bye.